Hi there and welcome to this two minute tips video and in this video we're going to be looking at the monitor and viewfinder color balance options in the Nikon Z series cameras. So in the Nikon Z series cameras, depending on the camera you're using, there is the ability to adjust the color balance of the monitor and viewfinder. If you're using a Z5, 6 or 7, you can adjust the monitor and the viewfinder. And if you're using the Z50, you can only adjust the viewfinder. Now to do this, we'll need a reference image and therefore you'll probably need something like one of these little color charts. Um, this is the one from Data Color and it's the Spider Color 20 or uh, Spider Checker 24. Um, and on one side you've got um, black to white with your gray card and on the other side you've got black to white with all the colors. And what you have to do is first off use your camera in the lighting you want to adjust for to take a photo of those co the colored side of the um, color checker and store that on your memory card. Next we have to go to the setup menu and at the bottom you'll see monitor color balance and that's on the first page. If you go to the second page at the top you'll see viewfinder um, color balance. That's in the Z6 and Z7. It may be slightly different in the Z5 and Z50. As we're setting up the um, brightness of the monitor and viewfinder, the monitor has to be active to do the monitor and the viewfinder has to be active to set the color balance in the viewfinder and you'll have to hold it up to your eye. Um, so let's look at the monitor color balance because they are both very similar. And if you go into that option, you have to select your reference image. If it's not the image that shows, hit the button on the back of the camera, the magnifying glass with the minus sign in it, and you can then scroll through the different images on your card to find the reference image and hit OK when you found it and it will show on the screen. You can then use the multi selector to adjust the different color balance. So on the vertical, if you press the up, you'll get a more green image. And if you press the down, you'll get a stronger magenta image. On the horizontal image, if you go to the right, you'll get a stronger amber or orange image. And if you go to the left, you'll get a stronger blue image. So adjust it until you think it's got the right color balance for your reference image. You can also see the 10 stripes of black to white and see the impact on those. When you've got it as you want it, hit OK and it will store it. The viewfinder is the same, but as I say, the viewfinder has to be an active option and you have to put the viewfinder to your eye. Changing the color balance of either the monitor or the viewfinder doesn't change the color balance of the images, only of the viewfinder or monitor. Now this may be useful where you're working in specific controlled environments and you want to use either the monitor or the viewfinder to check your images in detail and review them, in particular the color balance, and you want it to be really accurate. It's not something that I've had the need to adjust on my camera. I found the monitor and um, viewfinder have been pretty spot on for what I shoot um, and how I shoot, but it could be a useful option for you. So do let us know in the comments below if you found a use for adjusting or had to adjust the color balance of either the monitor or the viewfinder in your camera. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell and you'll be notified of future videos. And I look forward to seeing you on a future video.